Hi there, Pete Bachwald with a two minute logic tutorial. This, this one is how to convert a WAV file or other file type into an Apple loop. This Apple loop will snap to the grid of your session, no matter what tempo it was recorded with originally, and it will be searchable here in our browser. So let's grab a file. Here we go, this one's a WAV file. This one was recorded at 80 beats a minute, and so it just happens to fall out to three measures instead of the two measures we need it to be. So our first step is to make sure this is highlighted and go to the audio menu, open an Apple Loops Utility. Make sure this looping button is, to, is clicked. Right now there's no transients recognized in this drum loop, so it's not gonna help us. So select looping and adjust the sensitivity as necessary. You notice at the bottom, make sure this is at 80 beats a minute. That, I know that's the original tempo. There we go. All right, so once it, everything's all in place, we're going to go ahead and hit save. Once I do that, this you'll see this icon has changed from two interlocked rings to these two little loop-de-loop -loop symbols, and we're all set. The second part of the journey is under the region menu, add to Apple Loops library. This is so we can search it over here. Name it what you want. I, I want to name it with my initials. PB loop. I'm going to call it number four. Uh, go through all this where I put at, add the tags you want and create. This step takes just a second. And once this is complete, we'll be able to search for it in our browser over here. All right, come on now. Go, go, go. All right, so I'm going to search for PB loop, enter. There we go. Thanks a lot for watching.